Ooh, developer insights of tech. Which will be followed up with his kit reveal. Tech, look at that boy, Donatello. <laughs> hey, all table heroes. The next Bad Batch clone trooper to join the hall tables is Tech. The highly specialized trooper in scale armor serves as the brains of the Bad Batch and provides his allies support by handling the more delicate parts of their operations. He has modified his armor with advanced electronic systems that allow him to calculate complex trajectories, translate alien languages, and access many different types of computer systems. Translate alien al uh, languages, so I guess you don't need a 3PO with him around. <laughs> Hmm. Um, while Tech is leaner compared to his clone counterparts, he is no less skilled in combat. He can use his brilliant idea ability to deal damage to his enemies and dispel all the buffs from Cloud Trooper allies while all Bad Batch allies gain foresight, tenacity up, and stealth. Unlock Tech in the all new Marky event, Clone Force 99 2. Introducing Tech. Yeah, come on, guys. Shtink. Oh, yeah, looking at this map. Introducing Tech. Oh, come on, guys. The basics. Tech is a bad batch support unit that sets up his allies to deal damage. His basic ability, call the shot, can spread many instances of target lock across the enemy squad. Special 2. Brilliant idea. Provides his bad batch allies. With a large amount of survivability from foresight, tenacity, and stealth buffs. Unique attributes. Tech is the second unit to grant the translation buff, but only to clone troopers and bad batch units. Oh. So you can't just throw that around to anybody. Huh. I'm pretty sure 3PO can throw it around to anybody. Inspiration. Oh, that was a weird ass whistle thing. Tech's appearance in the seventh season of The Clone Wars showed him as the group's translator on more than one occasion, so it made sense that he would have a similar effect as C-3PO does in translation. During implementation, we realized that it should be it should just be the same thing as C-3PO and wrote the ability and retroactively C-3PO's to work with one another. To a point. Most of his ability names are inspired by lines from season seven of Clone Wars in the episode On the Wings of Kyrdax. There's a scene where Tech and the rest of the crew are trapped on the bridge, and he says, I do have a brilliant idea. There are a couple great interactions between Wrecker and Tech, where they are discussing delicate operations, though Wrecker might be saying it sarcastically. Tech has some of our favorite animations in Galaxy of Heroes. His idle animation feels very fitting for a mobile game. What? <laughs> Strategy tips. Tech's unique clone interpreter allows him to start the battle stealth if all allies are clone troopers, and he can use his special one, Delicate Operation, on his first turn to quickly grant all bad batch allies a stack of translation. Attacking enemies that already have the target locked buff with Tech's basic ability will spread target lock to the rest of the opposing squad very quickly. In this scenario, his basic will trigger an extra attack and apply target lock to the next healthiest enemy without target lock two times in a row, once on his first attack and then again on his second volley. He also reapplies target lock twice to the unit he is attacking, which may cause an important interaction with future kits. <laughs> Tech is a powerful unit for Grand Arena Championships and continues to grow the Bad Batch squad as a solid team that can, can deny some easy banners while on defense. Oh. Is that what they're planning? Because I was wondering why they're only planning on releasing three and making a whole squad for it, though, Bad Batch. Now it makes sense. 3v3, it would matter then. Hmm. Fuck. Hey, how does Tech interact with C3PO's translation? Well, the third stack of translation only works if you have one ally who can provide translation in a squad. So, if you have 3PO and Tech in the same squad, then allies will not receive any cooldown reduction with basic attacks. And units will still get the third stack of translation, but it will have no effect while both units that can provide translation are alive. If one of these two units are defeated, then units with the third stack of translation will start applying cooldown reduction with basic attacks. Cooldown reduction. Doesn't that already happen with basics? 
That's the whole point. What? That doesn't sound like that makes sense. <laughs> we also updated the translation description for both 3PO and TAC to specify that the cooldown reduction only triggers when one ally who grants translation is present. Translation. Beneficial effects build... Ba what? What's this weird tongue twister they're making? Beneficial effects build based on the cumul cumulative number of stacks. Beneficial effects build. Oh, I see what they're saying. Gain plus 30% max health. Gain plus 15% critical damage. If only one ally who grants translation is present, decrease this character's cooldowns by one when that ally uses their basic ability. Limit once per turn. 3PO will continue to work exactly the same as before, as long as you don't have tech in the same squad. The description of translation on 3PO has also been updated to clarify that the cooldown reduction can only occur once per turn, even if an ally attacks twice in their turn, such as tech attacking with his basic against target locked enemies. This effect has always worked this way, but the description did not specifically call out this interaction. Special 1, which is Delicate Operation, gives Tech 2 stacks of translation, one from Delicate Operation and one stack from his unique Clone Interpreter, since it is a special ability. All other Bad Batch allies also gain translation for 3 turns. All other refers to other than Tech and his target. Really? So that's just one other. <laughs> if all allies that can apply translation are defeated, all stacks of translation expire. That's kind of a weird uh, developer insight at the end there. But yeah, that's what we got. So, cool, I guess. <laughs> and until the next one, I know, I said see ya.